So hello everybody, it is Power Week, it means that the Power BI Desktop team are releasing a new Power BI Desktop update. This time it is July 2020 and in this video I'm going to go through the features quickly so you get an overview of the features that you have and then you can go and do a deep dive of those that interest you, okay? So let's get started. So the first update is Legends on visuals not all of the visuals just a few will have a legend when you do a gradient um, conditional formatting right so you first set the gradient and then it will appear a legend tab on the format pane and then you can just set the uh, the legend there which is neat that's quite cool the next one is dynamic formatting. That means that you can have, for example, different cur currencies on the same uh, visualization, for example, on a matrix. And uh, that is good news, but it is only premium. So the reason for being only premium is that it requires um, calculating groups, and those are only premium, so we're out of luck. The next one is to change the title on a slicer, on the hierarchy slicer. So um, before the title was generated and you couldn't change it, now you can actually change that. There is a new visual, it is a map visual, Azure map visual. And if you click on it before you, <laughs> before you get too happy, when you click on it, it will give you a fat disclaimer saying that they are using a third party service, which is TomTom. Wouldn't expect that as a collaboration, but it is Tom Tom, and it says that even though they don't send you your personalized data, Tom Tom could will obviously receive the data to be able to map it and could save your searches and or your queries, and it will be stored in the United States or maybe other countries. So if you are from Europe and you have any privacy rules, this might not be ideal. So it is a paid service, I want to say that too. And you have like a base where you can just, you know, test and give it a go. And then it's $5 per thousand transactions. Okay. I think like Google goes with static maps, I think it's $2 and non-static is $7. So it's, this is like in the middle. So next update is on custom visuals. Did you know that custom visuals are not called custom visuals anymore? Nope, they're called app source visuals. With that aside, now you can manage app source visuals slash custom visuals through the organizational store in the admin portal. Now, what is worth mentioning here with custom visuals, you know, what I've said about custom visuals before, before was that you had to be careful because you could leak data. Certified visuals do not leak data anymore, but there is still a problem and it is how custom visuals are managed. So Marco Russo actually created a fantastic blog post where he goes through the insights of what it means to be a custom visual partner. I mean, what means what it means to develop custom visuals and what what he thought where, where the pain points were and why you not always would see updated visuals or your visuals would crash and things like that so if you're using custom visuals i really recommend you to watch this also some bad news is that cloud, cloud scope which is using or was developing power vis, custom visuals will end the support of custom visuals. So they are retiring from the market altogether. And they explain why on a blog post. I'm going to link them below so you can read them. If you're using custom visuals, read, okay? So you are informed about what can happen. Moving on to good news, DAX functions. There are, I don't know, they launch, <laughs> it makes a lot of work for me, there was like 40 new DAX financial functions. So they are more aligned to what DAX has to offer. So I was actually like 80% covered of all DAX functions. Now I have, I'm back to 50% probably. But we will go through those. Go take a look, let me know in the comment box if there's any function that you want to review, me to review 
quicker than others because I'm going to just go random and pick them, okay? So there's great news. Next one, yeah, in Power Query, there was a possibility, you know, when you're importing data from Excel or textiles, Power Query tries to detect if there are column headers and tries to detect also the, t the type, the field type. And you can disable that on a file level, but now you can disable it globally. So it is a good thing if you're having performance issues. And the last but not least, there is a now possibility to add links on Power BI Desktop to external tools. And uh, you just need to write a small line of code. To use those tools, you need to have enhanced metadata on and you might run into trouble. I had a video on that. I would link that below to understand what it means before you activate that, okay? Okay, so that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the update. Let me know in the comment box which feature you like the most, and I will see you again on the next video. So as always, take care. Bye-bye.